supplies needed, scissors, jute, white yarn, black embroidery floss, a needle, and some white felt, and a piece of cardboard that's a little over 7 inches. Now you'll just want to wind your yarn on the piece of cardboard uh, fairly thick so that your tassel is nice and fluffy. And then I'm going to cut three strips of yarn that are twice the length of my piece of cardboard and set those aside. It's time to take the tassel off of the cardboard. We're going to use one of the strands and tie a knot around the top of the tassel. Then we're going to flip it inside out so that that knot goes inside and cut the other side of the tassel in half. Now grab your felt and cut a little circle out of the felt. This is going to go underneath the tassel. It's going to go in the middle. It's going to stabilize your thread when you tie, um, when you do French knots. To make a French knot, twist your uh, thread around your needle a few times and make sure you hold down that thread with your thumbnail while you pull out the needle with the other hand. Make sure you're holding on to the twists and then pull it out and that's how you do a French knot. And then just repeat for the other side. The more you practice, the better you'll get. Once you're all done with the French knots, you'll tie a knot in the back of your felt and clip off your threads. Now you have little ghost eyes. We're going to take another piece of the yarn. We're going to tie a slip knot in the very top of it, and this is going to be what you're going to hang your ghosts from. So you want to make sure your slip knot isn't too tight to go around to go in to the jute twine. Make sure your slip knot's large enough to do that. Tie a knot, and you've got a little tie for your ghost to hang on the jute. And then now you just need to separate the head of the ghost body, finishing your tassel. And I kind of play around with that a little bit. Make sure your yarn is all straight, smooth. Tie a double knot and straighten out your yarn. Clip off the ends and your little ghost tassel is finished. Now just string it onto your jute. And then make two more and add two little slip knots to each end of your jute and hang it on the wall. Mm -hmm.